changes that have come over me in these last few days I've been afraid that I might drift away so I've been telling old stories singing songs that make me think about where I came from and that's the reasons why I seem so far away today Oh, and let me tell you that I love you That I think about you all the time Caledonia, you're calling me Now I'm going home but if I The Highlands and Islands of Scotland Dramatic, breathtaking, spectacular a region where unspoiled natural beauty provides the backdrop for groundbreaking ideas and cutting-edge technology. This is an area steeped in history, where people delight in their vibrant culture. It's a romantic yet genuine heritage, celebrated in music, literature and film, and recognised and renowned throughout the world. The richness of the landscape and the bounty of its environment continue to shape that culture today. Whether you're seeking the ultimate adrenaline rush or the wind in your hair in more tranquil surroundings. Whether you want to jump in at the deep end or simply gain inspiration from the masters. The Highlands and Islands are the great outdoors, where everyone shares in what this land has to offer in a way that's at one with the environment, so that they'll continue to enjoy it into the future. It's little wonder people are drawn here by the quality of life. Traditional values sit comfortably with cosmopolitan tastes. High quality standards and sustainable practices are ingrained. Natural products are exactly what they say. Those who have stayed, returned or moved north have discovered something that most of us aspire to, but too few achieve. Looking for a better work-life balance well, look no further. A sophisticated IT infrastructure brings the world to our doorstep. The education system is second to none. Life choices are limitless. And while the Highlands and Islands are geographically on the edge of Europe, we're now at the centre of things. Telecommunications have shrunk the globe. And modern transport links also mean that a city like Inverness has become a gateway, a modern hub. The Highlands and Islands have always been a place of innovation and self-reliance. Those qualities have built a strong research base and R&D capability. Some of our scientific breakthroughs have made us world leaders and links between academic study and commercial exploitation have led to major collaborative success stories. The Centre for Health Science in Inverness is unrivalled in bringing so many disciplines under one roof. Public sector health professionals provide clinical care to patients. It's a major training centre for undergraduate students and a research hub for postgraduates and senior clinicians. It also involves LifeScan, a Johnson & Johnson company, whose diagnostic products make life easier for hundreds of thousands of people around the world living with diabetes. The development of the University of the Highlands and Islands is creating a revolution in further and higher education in the United Kingdom. Benefiting from a huge range of specialties in individual colleges, UHI is also now planning a major campus in Inverness. Throughout the region you'll find commercial companies engaged in innovative projects in remote healthcare, natural products and well-being. Modern incubator facilities and strong R&D capabilities provide a fertile environment for inward investment. The Scottish Association for Marine Science near Oban is one of Europe's leading marine research institutions, pioneering developments from fisheries management to biofuels. And where better than in a country with more than 11,000 kilometres of coastline and almost 800 islands? And the landward environment of the Highlands and Islands too has allowed the growth of high-tech industries at the forefront of the development of natural resources. 
Here we're on the crest of the wave in turning some of the best renewable energy sources in Europe into usable power for our communities, large and small. From the drawing board to the open ocean, research, development and construction facilities are a class apart. The European Marine Energy Centre in the Orkney Islands is the first dedicated marine energy test centre to be established anywhere in the world. A variety of wave and tidal energy devices are being trialled here. This prototype wave energy turbine will form the basis of the world's largest wave power generating station to be built on the Atlantic coast of the Hebridean island of Lewis. Engineering expertise gained in the offshore oil industry has been used to help construct the world's first deep water wind farm in the North Sea. Hydrogen energy produced locally from wind is helping meet the fuel needs of one of the most remote island communities in the UK. While the largest conventional hydroelectric scheme to be built in Britain for 50 years recently began generating power, hidden in the hills high above the famous Loch Ness. We may not be able to tame our climate, but we can turn it to our own benefit. The highlands and islands of Scotland, home to jaw-dropping scenery, rich natural resources and groundbreaking projects. Sympathetic, scientific, sustainable. Caledonia's been everywhere.